Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you what to do with this plastic valve cover. If you're getting sick of it, it's starting to look like garbage. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this, replace it with a metal one, and not have to spend the eight to $1,000. So we're going to go from this piece of garbage right here to something that looks like, like this. This is a metal valve cover. This is the Cummins Factory Marine valve cover. It is not a 24 valve one. The 24 valve one has bolts going down the middle of it. This is for a common rail. That's why it's got six bolts on the front, middle, and side. So let's get started on this and I'll show you guys what to do and what you're gonna need. And when you guys are doing this, uh, it's probably a good idea check your valve lash on your uh, rocker arm since the uh, rocker cover is coming off, your valve cover is coming off, might as well check it. Uh, right here is the specs on them for the valve lash cold in intake as it's cold is supposed to be point zero one zero and exhaust is point zero two six so we'll just use an eight millimeter to take this off for the six sevens and then uh, for the five nine guys at UJ is just have six bolts to take off that are ten mil two in the back two in the middle two in the front uh, once we get this off for the six seven guys it's going to be the exact same thing uh, you will have a sensor to disconnect here so you have to do that too and then uh, also while you're doing this, you're going to have to do a little bit of wiring if you don't have an 03 or an 04, early 04. Uh, if you've got you know, the later 5.9s and all the 6.7s, you're either going to have to get a wiring harness to do some adapting. and uh, Or you can cut it and get the connectors and wire it in that way. Also, you're going to have to find a way to uh, vent your, vent your uh, crankcase, so now would be a good time to do a catch can. So it gives you the opportunity to do that. If you've got oil leaks, the catch can might save a lot of them. Uh, if you've got like 100,000 miles on your vehicle and you're starting to develop a lot of oil leaks, got a tune on it, catch can might be what you want. So. Uh, Let's get started on this. Start taking part of this apart. So these are just eight mils. The rest of the valve covers are just ten. So we'll take these off. All right, six, seven guys. This is what it should look like after you get that top off. Probably a little bit more oily, but this is what you're gonna have. Five, nine guys. This is probably what you're starting with. So uh, we'll just take the valve cover off, and then after that, there's either gonna be one more additional step or you're almost ready to put your uh, marine valve cover on. Alright guys, now that you got the valve cover off, you can see your uh, fuel injector wiring. This is for a later vehicle, this is for a later 5.9. I do believe the 6.7s run this exact same to, uh, gasket and uh, wiring harness combo. Uh, unfortunately, if you have this one, you can't use the aluminum spacer that's under it. Uh, you're going to have to go to a junkyard, find the early 04, 03 style, because this will not work with a marine valve cover. So this is going to have to go and sews this spacer. So unbolt the spacer too. Uh, once you get down to there, you can do a rocker arm adjustment if you need to. If not, you're ready to uh, start putting uh, everything back together and if you guys are have lucky enough to have an 03 or 04, uh, you can just leave your spacer on there and you can throw that new Cummins Marine valve cover on and you won't have to worry about anything because it'll just slap right on there. You can paint it, do whatever you want with it, you're good to go. All right, guys, uh, once you start installing this valve cover, um, the center bolts 
if you have to put the spacer on, the spacer that's right here where uh, the fuel injector wires come through, the torque on them is 18 foot-pounds and the torque on the valve cover bolts is 18 foot-pounds. So if you're going to do this, I would strongly suggest buying new Cummins bolts and gaskets on here. I mean, I'm sure you guys' stuff has like 200,000 miles on it, so putting some new hardware in it is just going to help guarantee against some leaks. Putting in uh, new valve covers or new valve cover gaskets as well probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So once you get that done, then you can start working on the that done. You can start working on either a catch can or a breather system, and you can start working on your wiring for your fuel injectors if you need to. Because this is my marine valve cover that I put on here. Uh, I had to make a little bit of, or a few modifications to this. Uh, as you can see, I have some and fittings welded onto there. They were like six bucks a piece. So I got those so I could hook up a breather system. Uh, with this valve cover, it really doesn't give you many options for a breather. There is a bolt on the side here, if you can see that way in the back. Uh, that is a bolt I cut and put on there with a gasket. It is a very small breather port. I probably should have just put a plug in there and welded it shut. There's one right behind it too that's open. Run this fleece thermostat that is on the back of the uh, uh, block so you don't block or blow your uh, water jacket uh, freeze plugs out. Uh, it will not work with that, so it's best to just plug it. It's easiest, so that's just what I did. Uh, I'll put all the part numbers I have uh, because uh, it's just you can get all this stuff come from Cummings uh, to make. Uh. And then for the wiring, uh, you can either opt to you can cut these plugs off or determ. Uh, you can take the terminals out of them. And you can still buy these plugs and then you can re-terminate them and put them where you need to go. Or you can do what I did. I just bought this uh, harness here. It was like $110. It's pretty slick. Uh, I can, I will put the link in the description below on where I got this. And then, and Beans Diesel has a good write-up on which wires go where on here. And I'll also put that link in the description below. In the description below, I'll also include the catch can video and rebuilding the valve cover video. Um, this stuff is pretty easy to do. It's not real hard. Uh, your biggest issue is probably going to be hooking up your catch can. Uh, if you have emissions on your truck, I probably wouldn't suggest doing this. But I think it looks a lot better in the truck. I, I really like the looks of the metal valve cover over that plastic thing. Um, once those get, things get some miles on them, they're just ugly as sin, and the paint starts coming off. So I think this is a good upgrade to the truck, plus while you're doing it, you can add an aftermarket breather system, and you can do your rocker arm adjustment while you're at it. Uh, if you guys have any qu questions, make sure you ask. I'll answer them to the best of my ability, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.